In this experiment, we're going to compare the reactivity of cyclohexane with bromine water with the reactivity of cyclohexene and bromine water. These hydrocarbons each have six carbon atoms and are arranged in a circle. The only difference is that cyclohexene contains one double bond. Before reacting, bromine water is a yellow-orange colour. Cyclohexane and cyclohexene are both clear liquids. When cyclohexane is added to bromine water, the reaction does not occur spontaneously as it is already saturated. This is because there are no available bonds for the bromine to attach to. The slight colour change that you see here is due to the dissolving of the bromine water in the cyclohexane. By adding UV light, the activation for the reaction can be reached and a hydrogen is replaced with a bromine atom on the cyclohexane. This is called a substitution reaction because the hydrogen and bromine atoms swap places. They're substituted for one another. When cyclohexene reacts with bromine water, the double bond breaks and two bromine atoms are attached to those available bonds. This is called an addition reaction because the bromine atoms are added to the molecule utilising the broken double bond. This experiment is a really good example to show how much more reactive the alkene is in comparison to the alkane. The reaction of the cyclohexene did not need the addition of any extra energy. It did not need UV light in order to occur. And the reaction you saw happened very quickly. I hope this video has helped you to understand the reactivity of cyclohexane and cyclohexene um, with this particular example with bromine water. Um, if you liked it, please hit like below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos.